today we're going to do some more square root. And first I want to take a look at this chart because it's going to help us as we find the square root of larger numbers. This chart has a list of the numbers 1 to 9 and then the values of those, num uh, those numbers squared. And what I can see here is that for the first three numbers, uh, when we square it, the value is a single digit. But beyond that, from four through nine, the value of the square takes up two digits, two categories. So what this tells me is that any time in a number that we're building a square, we're going to need one or two categories of that number to build the square. So we definitely, if we're squaring a, a number in the units, we'll need the units and the tens of the number to, um, to make a square. And this continues uh, through the categories. So we know hundreds makes a square, and we might need hundreds and thousands to make that. We might need those two digits uh, for that number. So this information is going to help us as we consider how to find the square root because it will help us be able to indicate uh, how many digits uh, our square root has in a number. Let's look at that. If I wanted to find the square root of 576, I could take a look at this and see that I know the units will make a square and it could take two digits to make a square there and then hundreds also make a square. So this 576 is going to have a two digit root. We can see that here, that it will build a binomial square just like this, and we could find the root of it here because we know units times units makes a square, tens times tens makes a square. So we know that we'll have in our answer will have a tens digit and a units digit. So let's take a look at some other numbers and see. What if we did wanted to find the square root of 1438? Well, we know we'd have a square root there. We'd have a square there, one, two, and that's it. It's still a two digit root with tens and units. Let's look at another one. Wow, how many will we have here? We have one, we're gonna have a two, for two. Wow, this is going to have a four digit root. So that means we'll have thousands, hundreds, tens, and units. And I've got a guide square for that as well. So we can see here what a four digit square will look like with the thousands, hundreds, tens, and units squares. So when we are going to find the square root of a number, we need to mark how many digits we're going to have in our root uh, from the original number. So let's try that. Let's find the square root of 625. So we know it's going to be a two digit root. So I can put these away. We're going to use the pegboard for square root today. So to start, I'm going to make my number, my 625. So there I have 600s. 20. So we'll start with our largest category, building a square. Mm, that's all rectangles with the tens. We need to do some exchanging. Right. 
that's as far as I can go with the tens. So now I can work on building my square in here with units. Do some exchanging. Now I can see the square root. The square root of 625 is 25. Let's do another problem like this. 